Rob the Backyard Gardener here, doing a little video on how to grow store-bought pears, like you see here, into saplings or trees. Now, I like to leave them in the fridge for quite a while till they start to get a little rotten. This brand is the D'Anjou pears that I bought from Sprouts or Kroger's, one of the two. But bottom line, you can take a look at this pear pretty clearly and see that it's not exactly ideally edible anymore. Now what I do is I cut it in half, trying to avoid cutting the seeds like I did on this one. But I'm going to cut it in half here again and pull out all the seeds that I have from the pears. Quite a bit of seeds as you can see. My goal is to choose about six of the best seeds that I have and put them in this paper towel. Now that I've chosen six seeds and put them in this paper towel, the ones I chose are the ones that look like they might have a little bit of germination or sprouting going on. To me that's the ideal ones to use. Seems to help out on as far as the sprouting. I soak the wet paper towel, or I soak the paper towel and get it wet, and then I'm gonna place it in a Ziploc bag like you see here. I like to label it so I know what I'm dealing with. You can see the six uh, pear seeds in here. I leave a little air in this just so that it doesn't uh, get any mold. Gets a little circulation, I guess, if you will. And now I'm gonna place it somewhere where it's hot and dark. That way they sprout and germinate. Now here we are about two weeks later, and as you can see, one's already busted free from the seed as I separated the paper towel, with another one just starting to come through. Ideally, I'd like more than just two sprouting out of the six I chose, but it's a good start for just two weeks. I'm pretty excited that I get to now plant these and get them in some soil and see if I can really take off their growth. Root systems are strong. All right, so now it's been about four or five days since I put them in the soil. You can see they're just starting to peak above the soil line, and that's pretty cool, so I know that they've taken pretty well. I've also got a propagated branch from one of my pear trees in the back, so as a control, just to see how well it grows compared to the ones I grew from seed. Again, sprouting through, doing well, looks like they've taken hold, so we're off to a successful start. And that's all you want. Once they pop above the soil, you're in pretty good shape as long as you keep them watered. And here we are today. It's August 13th. So really, it's been almost a month since I took them out of the pears themselves. Pretty good growth on them. About two to three inches in height for this one. This one's a little bit bigger. So I put it in a bigger pot so that it has a little more space. Let me get out of the light here and see if I can get a better shot. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty healthy, doing really well, <clears throat> coming through nicely. And then, like I said, the propagated one's actually doing really well. It's uh, gotten some height. It's sent several new sprouts, so it's definitely taken hold and doing well. I'm really excited about that. Here's a better look at where I cut it, right there. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Hopefully this helps you grow some. Again, thanks for watching.